<laughs> I'm excited for this. Good morning vlog. I have slept in on my second vacation day. It's Thursday right now and I'm doing a big apartment clean. I was gonna do it yesterday, but instead I just unwound, chilled, watched the entire third season of New Amsterdam <laughs> and then just didn't get to the cleaning. And Tommy was also home super early. So after I got back from spin, he was already back. So I didn't have a chance to do anything in his absence. But I have to move pretty quickly today because he is just on one boat. So I'm gonna have to like move, but laundry, other laundry, dishes, bedroom, vacuuming floor. That is the main list today. We already took out the recycle. So it seems like we can move on a lot of these smaller things, but now I'm realizing that's probably gonna take several hours. So I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna time lapse it because I feel like sometimes it's really satisfying to watch cleaning. So let's get to it. You'll notice I'm wearing earplugs. I wear them <laughs> if things are too loud, <laughs> like the vacuum cleaner. So yeah, it's just like slow going, but uh, it beats watching our team currently get crushed in hockey. The last record came in today, so I'll open this up really quick. Honestly, the vacuuming was the most important thing I need to get done. <laughs> from Reykjavik. Remember how a couple, uh, maybe the last vlog, I was like, I think it's coming from Europe or Denmark. Nope, it was coming from Iceland. Here it is in all of its beautiful glory. The 30th anniversary iconic debut album. I'm excited for this. Very cool. Yeah. Here they are. I've cleaned everything that I wanted to off the list, so I'll get to cross so many things off of my little checklist. But vacuumed everything, cleared all of that. We took the recycling out, that was awesome. Countertops, clear. I can see the countertops again, love it. I did a snack restock yesterday, I didn't film it because I didn't know <laughs> if I was gonna make this video. Continuing on to this room, we've got nice, clear, clean surfaces. <laughs> I'll do a declutter of the closet within the next few days. So I know it's really dark and the lighting in here is nothing to be impressed with, but I think I'm gonna look into my closet right now to see if I can find anything that is worth putting into that donation bag. This closet, I don't think there's anything right away that jumps out to me like needing to leave. This closet, however, I know I only touched the front end of most of it, so I'm thinking there's gotta be some stuff buried way back somewhere that I definitely haven't worn in an extended period of time, forgot I had, that's the stuff I'm going for right now. I don't know if I'm really gonna be able to get a lot out of this because I, I do wear most of my clothes and I haven't hoarded or collected too, too much stuff, but I'm thinking I, I'll give it a shot. So let's see, let's see what I come away with at this point. <laughs> This has turned into a color coordinating one where I'm testing different ways to fold. As you can see, I'm liking how this uh, is working out. I'm gonna see if I like it at all in there <laughs> because I'm not organizing all of them in the same way. Um, and I need to just uh, try on error at this point. All the cap shirts are already in there except for this one, I forgot this one. I just decided not to color coordinate those but leave all of the capital shirts together. I primarily only have white and black stuff with the occasional colored shirts. All of my thermal underwear and undershirts and stuff are gonna be its own pile as well. And I have a minor donation pile. I did, I did actually come up with a donation pile. <laughs> I'm 
So which part of it is the pavlova? Because it, but it looks like frosting. It's like a meringue. So today is the first time I've left my house. It is Easter Sunday. It's the first time I've left my house since Friday when I was at Spin, which is not great, I know that. So I got out and bought quite a few things for the house and just little updates. The lighting is great, wow. And I'll show them when I get home. When I was at home since FaceTiming my dad, this really fluffy five-month-old, really adorable dog came up to me and started giving me all these kisses. And he was just the cutest thing. And I was just like, that's why I have no clothes though, because I was on FaceTime with my dad. But he was so happy, so adorable, and just so soft and just like huge. We got some beautiful flowers as I head back from the grocery store. I didn't do an OOTD before I left, but I'm wearing a sweater and my striped pants that I got like quite a while ago, I think around uh, Boxing Day time from a thrift store. I'd really like a new pothos or something from this place. Obviously they're closed on the weekends and it's also Easter, but I need a new um, one because the one on the table is getting too big. Got some ice cream, fresh fruit, and is that it? Oh, a couple cans of soup. This is the one getting too big because it's doing its pothos thing. And it's like, woo, and it's now in the way if you're watching the TV from this angle. So we need something else here. That's why I'm also looking for a new one of these because I feel like this and this are just bonded together and I would like to keep them together. Don't know where they'll go. Maybe I'll just leave this one here. Eh. So I picked up oven mitts because we haven't had a new pair since we've lived here. That's over three and a half years of the same ones that have now got like holes and Cute little watering can, very unique. I feel like I'll just put it on the table back here and it's green and it's very like, you know, gardeny and cute. So yeah, I'll put it here for now. This was only $8 also. Even the cashier was like eight bucks. And I was like, I know, $8. Oh, how quickly the weather changes. It's the next day and I just finished spin class. And of course I only have my phone, but it's springtime obviously. So it's raining and hailing and sunny all in the same day, so. Yeah, I had a physio appointment this morning. That went really, really well because of the like numbness in my hand and different things. And we seem to have figured out what's going on there. And I just finished a new really difficult spin class. So I'm gonna head home. I'm also going to stop at the grocery store because the fruit was super cheap yesterday and I basically finished it all already. So I'm going to get that and some Nutella. Happy Tuesday. I'm back at work today. I've gone through my entire inbox. It's been about two hours of the work day. And I broke out my new weekly plan thing. This is my weekly plan. There's like pages. It's like 60 pages, I think it said. This is really exciting because it was $2 at the dollar store. And I'm gonna give it a try for my week because I think I have finally found that I'm keeping personal things I have scheduled in one thing, my work and personal planner are this one. And then that one will just be work where I can see the full layout for the entire week because I think it'll just be easier that way. And there's a lot more room to write things down. Tonight we're going to the hockey game. Can't wait for that. I think the group that we're going with, which is two other people, we're all gonna meet here at like 6 to 6.15 and then head over because the game starts at seven. So yeah, I'm gonna be wearing my Caps jersey. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> go Caps, even though we're not playing. But we did have a really good game last night. So that's my update for today. Until the game, I'm just trying to keep it to that. And I'm really excited that we get to see another in-person hockey game. Uh, the Caps clinched the playoffs about two days ago. So we're thrilled, we're thrilled. Update, I used my lunch to fold all the laundry and clean all the floors. So everything's vacuumed, clear, clean. Gotta take the trash out. But yeah, everything is done. Back to work and then see you at the game.
booing. Ottawa Pro number 9, 2 minutes. Okay. Vancouver Pro number 92, 4 minutes, 5 seconds. Woo! After review, the player was on my stick. This is a rough environment. I was too nervous, I couldn't film the actual, any of the, I didn't, any of the shootout. Good job, boys. Hey, we both got a win here this year. We did. We did over. We got bonus hockey for both of us. Bonus hockey for both. Hello vlog, it's Wednesday, it's like 4.30 p.m. I hope you enjoyed some of the footage from last night's game. I don't know how much I got or what I was able to pull together, but I did love that I caught two players checking each other for fun during their warm-ups. That was super dope. Being down on ice level during the warm-ups was fun. We couldn't do that for my game because it was Pride Night, so it was way too busy and we got there like right at seven. Last night we got there at like 6.15, so we could like go down. We had a lot of time. It was super chill and it was a really fun game and Ottawa won, so always fun. I finished work already, obviously, because it's 5.30. This is kind of where I ended up at the end of the day. I'm gonna settle in and watch a little bit of television, but I wanted to share an exciting update regarding my hand. I don't have carpal tunnel, so I went to go see a physio and they were assessing my back and my neck and they're like, I think it's actually neural pain from a muscle knot or something in your back, whether it's from posture, working out, weird, something is just pushing on one of the neural networks and that's why my finger and my hands are getting really swollen, but my wrist isn't hurting. So it's just coming from further up the chain and we're probably gonna have to get that needling stuff done again. Not acupuncture, but dry needling where he just kind of like threads it into the trigger points. I'll handle that when the time comes in like a week or so. But for now, I just wanted to share that update because that's why I'm wearing the brace. It wasn't helping. I wasn't doing anything. It was actually more annoying because it was pushing on the parts of my hands that were hurting because of the parts of my neck and back that were already restricted. So that's all I got for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, whatever I managed to pull together from it. And yeah, I'm taking a bit easier from spin because my legs are, are dying a bit. And that's just what happens when you, when you do it too much and... You have to pedal so fast that I, I'm more of like a resistance pedaler, not like a fast like leg spinning kind of pedaler. So sometimes spin for me, if I have an instructor who's just like flying their legs in double time all the time, isn't the most helpful for me. I prefer the ones that are just like climbing and like heavy resistance while you're standing because I get more out of that personally. So yeah, I'm doing some banking stuff now. We filed our taxes officially. And I already did the American ones because American ones are due a lot sooner. I did that like beginning of March. And then I finished the Canadian ones today, so. Hefty returns, hopefully, coming from each. And yeah, that's uh, that's honestly such an adult thing, but filing taxes in two countries can get complicated. So takes up quite a bit of my time, but now I'm gonna do a lot of other banking things that need my attention because I enjoy that. So again, thanks for watching for like the third time as I ramble on. I'm gonna watch TV and I'll see you in the next video.